Hey, how's it going? This is how I'm going to clean aftermarket bolts, like this one. What I'm going to use is this 5 inch Harbor Freight bench grinder with the guards removed. I have a nylon bristle wheel on one side, 4 inch, and a brass wire wheel 2.5 inch on the other side. Some wire wheels appear to be brass, but they're really just coated. You can easily tell with a magnet. Over here is my pile of bolts with sealer on them that I'm going to remove. Here's one I've already done. And I'll show you how I'm doing that here in a minute. Quick side note. Not all head bolts have sealer, just the like a small block Chevy with the bolt holes, the through hole into the coolant, or rocker studs that go into coolant or the intake. Okay, fire the sucker up. She's old, she needs a little bit of help. Looks new, but it's sitting in a pile. Take one of my bolts. Here's a close-up of the bolt I'm going to clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bolt and use it on the nylon brush first. Get the loose stuff off, then I'm going to go over to the brass brush for the harder stuff. And I may have to go back and forth a few times. But when that's done, there's going to be a, a brass residue on the bolt. And I'll go back over again to the nylon brush to get that brass residue off. You can see the nylon brush got most of it.
all done. As you can see, they cleaned up nicely. A few stubborn spots, but nothing I'm worried about. I think the brass and nylon wheel worked out good. The protective coating on these aftermarket bolts was not damaged or hardly removed. Of course, this method is not for everyone, and it should be mentioned that the brass and nylon wheels cost about $15 each. But for me, it was definitely worth it. Now if corrosion had set in, like rust, then you'd want to use a steel wire wheel and remove the rust before reusing the bolts. Otherwise, these bolts are good as new. They just need to be wiped off or washed and then reinstalled with a fresh sealer. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out.